come back um let's see we have mqtt broker services running on our cli and at the same time we have node red running okay so what we are going to build we are going to build a, a service which is actually okay let me just rearrange it and i'll explain what exactly is going on here okay so this is a timestamp function which is injecting a timestamp every time you click it right and then we have this called publisher and publisher is what publisher is essentially a mqtt in function right uh, sorry publisher is an mqtt out function it connect to mqtt broker and publishes a message so basically it was earlier mqtt out i just rename it and call it publisher to make sense so basically what we are trying to do we are trying to publish time using mqtt broker and the mqtt broker is seen nowhere here it's in background okay so mqtt broker uh, it will publish it to mqtt broker and then we have mqtt in which is subscriber so this is mqtt in it is going to subscribe to the topic what my publisher is publishing so that it can receive the values from mqtt broker and whenever it receives that value it is going to send it to a debugger so that we can see the value or the output uh, in debug section right so pretty interesting workflow okay uh, let me double click each of the node and show you what exactly is happening here you can see i have changed the name the node uh, for for this node it was a timestamp i changed it to external time and what is the uh, thing what we are sending we are sending a timestamp okay and we are sending to a topic called pub timestamp that is another attribute now let's go to mqtt um, publisher or mqtt out let me first bring a vanilla node so that you know where what happened when you have this kind of node okay so once you bring in here you'll see that we already talked about the blue dot that means this node is not deployed but what about this small tiny red triangle that means it has some invalid property or some property values are missing what are those things which is missing as i drop and do a double click you can see properties and within properties since i already added a oci broker that's why you see this otherwise it will be set to add new mqtt broker how i'm supposed to add a new mqtt broker if i select this option all i see things about topic what is the topic name what kind of qos we want to retain and if you are not familiar with mqtt i highly highly advise you um, or recommend you to go and search for mqtt on a sdn tech forum there is a very uh, nice and explanatory video available there so please go and watch that it will uh, help you understand what is topic what is qos what is the retain message and etc right so the first time I drag a MQTT in or out node it is asking me for some property values. One of the key thing is what is your MQTT server? And server, when it says server, it means who is going to be MQTT broker, right? And you are you are presented with this screen. This screen is a little bit tricky in my opinion because when you select add new MQTT broker, you are hoping to fill in the values down there, but there is nothing related so the things are hidden in the sense you need to click here edit and that will present you a form where you have to put your broker information okay so here you can select what is your server is it like out if it is outside you can provide ip address or a dns name then you can say connect automatically or kind of using tls if you are using tls then the certificate will come into picture so um, or 
what kind of MQTT protocol you want to see uh, use. So by default, it's 3.1.1, but you can also have liberty to choose MQTT version 5, which is the enhanced one and recommended one, in my opinion. You can have client ID, keep alive, session, all those things. And you can also uh, customize the port. By default, most of the MQTT broker listen on 1883 default port, but uh, that's not very secure unless you're doing certificate and extras. So many a time we change the port to a custom one. Then we have security. You can have a username and password uh, for authentication when you do a broker handshake. And then here are the message, right? You can create message sent on connect that is called birth message. So for first connection, you want to send certain messages, then message sent before disconnect. That means if you are a publisher and you, are, you know that you are going to sleep, uh, then you can send a message and message sent an expected, uh, unexpected disconnection, which is will message. So if the battery dies or something happen for some reason, you can also send a will message, right? All those things you can, uh, and these are all MQTT details. Yeah. So, but very granular control, you know, it's not just you are using a server client environment, but you can very well prototype your application using all kind of use cases. So all the options are available here. Okay. So for us, let me cancel it out and uh, yeah, cancel and delete this node. How I can delete this node? I can simply uh, right click and say delete selection. So that is out of picture. Let's go and double click this and see what is our OCI broker, which is a MQTT broker looks like. Okay. So I named it as OCI broker. Connection service is running as a local host. As I shown you, it is running as uh, on the same node where we have the node red UI. Connect automatically and protocol is set to default. All the other options are set to default. No security no birth messages will messages so everything is set to default all right so and i am asking for a qs type 2 and my topic please pay attention to the topic we are publishing to a topic called pub timestamp why this is important because in mqtt world you need to know which topic you want to subscribe so this information is crucial for subscriber to receive the value, whatever value is published by Publ uh, Times Publisher. All right, for subscriber, pretty much the same thing. I have um, OCI broker, subscribe to a single topic. Uh, I am subscribed to a single topic and this is my topic name, pub subtime. QS is two and I just changed the name to subscriber. It was MQTT in. And then I attach a debugger to this. All right. Now let's go ahead and deploy as our workflow is ready. Everything is deployed. Okay. Let's click. And this is the pay, uh, debug information coming from previous workflow. So let's clear this out. And we have a nice clean uh, debug interface here. So now time to publish something and see if we can receive that here. Okay, perfect. As you can see, it is continuously sending or publishing timestamp. And that's all is coming here in the deep debug section. All right. So this kind of like uh, give us a confidence that you can build application uh, continuously and uh, uh, using node red we will do some advanced use cases like node red dashboard and also try to see how we can uh, uh, we can integrate with a few other different kind of protocols so i hope um, you are enjoying this video series iot zero to hero series and if you are uh, creating some kind of uh, uh, fun projects uh, and other things please do let me know in comment section and i hope to see you in the next video thank you like subscribe share spread a word